YouTube land. What's up? So listen, y'all. Y'all know a lot of times I go on here and I talk about um, plastic surgeries that done went wrong or these uh, BBLs or different things or give y'all places to stay away from and this and that. Well, now it seems like the hottest thing is starting to be these veneers. Do y'all know anything about these veneers, these porcelain teeth? Well, a lot of people starting to have problems out of these veneers. Um, y'all know who Miss Netta and Charles is. I be following them all the time or whatever. And I was watching this video, and I don't know if Charles or Netta had a surgery or somebody they know had a surgery or something with the veneers, but it ended up being a botch job. So I never did, um, really, I had heard of them, but I really didn't know too much about them. All this new stuff anymore, I stay away from, like, all these, they lost me a long time ago when they started coloring their eyes and putting black ink in them. And I liked that that inner piercing that they be doing where people was getting dimples and stuff like that with the piercing. But after that, they pretty much lost me with all this stuff that they got going on. So I want to find out more about what was going on with these veneers. Let me turn my thing down. Okay. What is going on with botch veneers? Why are so many veneers being botched? Let me see. Some people say they bad, fake looking and ugly porcelain veneers. But before we, well, yeah, let me read this. And I do be seeing people that on TikTok and different places that be having them on. Y'all, I'm so sleepy. And they be looking like a horse, like Mr. Ed or something. Like they barely can close their mouth. Patients complaining about bad veneers are becoming more and more common as the sophistication of the patient has increased. Patients no longer want an improvement in their smile. They want a great smile. Patients that already have a good smile want an even better one. Porcelain veneers as a dental art form are increasingly improving, but the level of care to deliver a superior outcome has increased dramatically. All veneers are made of porcelain, but there are many porcelain varieties. Additionally, there are a lot of dental bonding agents and bonding techniques Ultimately, it's the skill, training, talent, and the artistic ability of the dentist that is the most critical factor in the results that a patient will receive porcelain veneers. What can go wrong with porcelain veneers? There are many available courses for cosmetic dentists sponsored by manufacturers that sell products rather than giving an unbiased option leading to unhappy patients. The dentist may be giving their best effort but cannot separate the manufacturer's hype from the facts. The dentist becomes a victim of continuing education and the patient ends up with bad porcelain veneers. In the following pictures, well, y'all can't see the pictures, but it's showing some veneers that's bad. Some patients cannot identify why their veneers look bad. They don't understand why they hate it until after they have seen the experienced dentist. The porcelain makes their teeth look square or bulky, or perhaps their teeth are now too long and the patient can't speak clearly or has developed bite problems. No matter which problems occur, the skill of the dentist is the number one issue. It's not whether the dentist issues lumineers or impress or Porcia, or Serenate, or any other manufacturer. One unhappy porcelain veneer patient went to three additional dentists after getting 10 porcelain veneers placed, and not one of the dentists knew the answer. No, they too busy out there playing golf after they didn't slap them Mr. Ed porcelain pieces upside your head. The dentists were not skilled enough to see the problem. Eventually, the patient found the right dentist and had all veneers replaced. These veneers are bulky with bad margins, which could cause swollen gums. Let me see. 
This feature patient has a friend that is a cosmetic dentist that told her that she doesn't have a lot of porcelain veneers. She liked the dentist and thought she was a lovely person and had her do the veneers. She was shocked by the results. After a few weeks, she began to get angry. She searched the internet and was determined to find the best dentist and was not going to be fooled by a lot of bragging or talking. When she found Dr. Sam Muslim's site, he advised the best way to choose a dentist is to see high resolution before and after photos of actually verifiable patients who have porcelain veneers done and not models or stock photos. He said, don't be fooled by a dentist with a photo of him with a movie star. If the dentist doesn't have a lot of before and after photos of his work, find one that does. She would have to ha- she would have to travel a few hours to get to Dr. Muslim in Santa Monica. But if that is what you have to do to get your good results, she says do it. She made an appointment and got bad porcelain veneers replaced. She said it was quick and it was easy because the dentist knows what he was doing. He says that he works on porcelain veneers himself and now I believe in him. His veneers are the best. But you don't have to believe me because the photos, you can't see the photos, on this website speak for themselves. Even though my gums were messed up with the bad margarines and bulk bad veneers, he said, he was able to get the gums to heal and made me new veneers, natural looking, so they match my other teeth. His temporary veneers were more natural looking than the porcelain veneers. My best friend, the cosmetic dentist, my advice is to simply go to the best dentist for the first time and save yourself a lot of surgery. The original work was done by prominent dentists in her community. So don't be fooled. Look at the before and after photos of the dentist's actual work rather than a photo of professional model. If the dentist doesn't have pictures of his work, you are most likely seeing the wrong dentist. Dr. Sam Muslim, a master of Academy of General Dentistry has become re-owned for fixing porcelain veneers. They said something about it gives you a bite, like it makes you have an overbite and you can't close your mouth. Now, I want to find this um, topic where I seen where Charles and Miss Netta was talking about in Texas, this dentist that was doing bad uh, veneers. Dentist in Texas, Texas doing a bad veneer botch surgery. Okay, here we go. Let's see if they got the name so y'all know not to go to this place. Man lured to Houston by Instagram ad for great smiles leave with botch veneers and serious complications. A Houston man is accused of practicing dentistry without a license after a Rhode Island man responded to an Instagram advertisement and was left with the disaster in his mouth. Jaden Moore, 34, is currently wanted on the felony charge as the victim continues dealing with serious complications. Your teeth, it's your smile, it's your face, it's your look, it's your identity, the victim Sharon Robinson told only KPRC2S Bryce Newberry. According to court records, Robertson saw an Instagram advertisement for Forever Veneers located off the Southwest Freeway. The ad offered 20 veneers for $8,700. The Instagram account has more than 54,000 followers and appeared to show many happy clients after their work was complete. It's it's not like it's genuine reaction, Robinson said. He realized they're telling you to do this. Smile, like say this. He traveled to Houston from Rhode Island first in February for appointment. They seem legit. You got to understand, like this is like this is this is a progress process that like the average person doesn't want to expect. Robinson said. He noticed a nice clean office and people wearing scrubs during his visit, which came after he did a Zoom meeting. During February 22nd visit to Houston, he went to a Bel Air dental office, Truth Dental. Y'all remember this name now, 
Truth Dental for the cleaning before going back to Forever Veneers. Forever Veneers. For the 3D scan to be done by New York Record Show. Robinson returned to Houston for a final appointment on March 13th when Mjork allegedly used dental power tools to grind down the surface of his teeth so the veneers could adhere to his natural teeth. The appointment didn't start until 9 p.m. records show. All of the travel was paid out of pocket, he said. Once the teeth were grinded down, Mjork placed adhesive on Robinson's teeth and placed the veneers over the adhesive record show. Robinson told authorities that Mjork was the only one in the room during the entire process. Right after the install, it felt funny in my mouth, Robinson said. I couldn't eat right. It was weird. Robinson told Houston police his back molars were not touching cause be causing a noticeable gap record show. The gap between his upper and lower molars prevented him from chewing his food and caused malices, shushing, whatever, with others in his teeth. I have open pockets, so food is getting in, he said. One of them actually po popped off. When Robinson told Mjork about the problems, he allegedly told him he had to come back to Houston and wouldn't provide a refund. They weren't willing to compromise with, with that. All of that, Robinson said. Robinson told Mjork he would have to take take the issue to the authorities at this point. He called Texas State Board of Dental Examiners and realized Mjork didn't have a license. Robinson told us uh, told authorities his teeth were permanently disfigured because of this procedure. KPRC two stopped by the eighth floor office on Monday, but no answer to the door and the lights were turned off. There's a lot more valuables than just looking nice on there that you have to be aware of and be careful about, says Dr. Austin Falk of Montrose DDS. Veneers usually start at more than 1,000 per tooth, he said, which raises questions about where the materials may have came from. So the materials he was using was he might have made got some cement or so I don't know what this man did. Potentially long-term effects of botched veneers include jaw, joint pain, cavities, gum health, tooth loss. There's this tendency for, I think, athesic procedures to be equ equative or equitative it to like getting your nails done. And that's not what's going on here, Falk said. It usually ends up being a much greater cost out of pocket than just doing it the proper way the first time. Robertson is now trying to find some money to go through his dentist in Rhode Island to prepare the smile he had hoped for after learning the veneers had to be removed. They've taken advantage of every person that sat in their chair, he said. I will leave that up to God, what's deserved, but I know they did me wrong. HPD's major offenders division is looking for any, any more potential victims. If you have been impacted, you can call them at 713-308-3100. If you have been affected by unlicensed dental work at Forever Veneers or by Jaden New York, reach out to reporter Bryce Newberry at bnewberry at kprc.com. So y'all, yeah, I want to talk to y'all about this. If y'all um thinking about getting veneers or whatever, make sure you do your research and like they said, make sure you see a lot of work and not just with um you know, with celebrities or whatever because at first, you know, the BBL was the hottest thing about all these botched BBLs. Now, the the BBLs taking the back seat for the veneers. So, like I said, y'all, a lot of this stuff that's going on new, I'm not quick to jump on this stuff, even though I need it. I'm not quick to jump on this stuff because it's always something like, you got to think, nowadays it seems like these doctors don't know much and these patients are nothing more than guinea pigs. They just trying something. You see what I'm saying? Then you end up out of pocket, out of money, 
and with the problem even worse and you got to go back and they can't even fix the problem a lot of times a lot of times in these situations another doctor had to fix all of these problems because if they knew what they was doing it wouldn't have happened in the first place you know what i mean so y'all be careful about these these new procedures and jumping on the bandwagon and and wait a minute and see how things go. It kind of reminds me of these commercials now. Even, you know, back then with the baby powder and talc this and if you took this or that, call the office or if you uh, uh, was putting relaxers in your hair, you might have a settlement for a thyroid gland. All this stuff ain't none of this stuff. Ain't none of this stuff about nothing. Then people get your money, slap them things in your mouth and then you face with a nightmare. So, if you think about getting veneers, stay away from Mr. Me York and stay away from Forever Veneers. Stay away from that Texas because that ain't the place to go. All right, y'all. I'm tired. I think I'm going to take it in. Mwah.